Colonel. Ah, greetings and konnichiwa. Which is actually Japanese and only to be used when meets for the very first time, then never after that. Anyway, this is in response to a video I got, a uh, blind date with a racist. And I clicked on the video, I, I got it from like three or four different people. Because we like to send each other videos and just kind of see where we are, uh, our points of view on it, send messages to each other, chat, and crap like that. So we use YouTube for it. Anyone finds a funny video and you send it to somebody else or something serious to talk about, which is this. Now, I saw the video, it was on Dr. Okay, Phil. Um, this chick was uh, sent on a blind date, the uh, blind date with the racist. And the um, guy was black, she's black, and she said, I kind of was turned off because the dude was black. Which, first of all, I'd like to start off by saying, doesn't make her racist. Now, so the idiots out there who are trying to compare skin color with eye color totally freaking different. Well, that's not racist to hate someone for a certain thing. Yeah, skin color is stupid because hair color is, well, you can just hate the hair color without hating the person. I don't see anybody hating the color. That's kind of weird. But personally, I hate all people. And hold on. Sorry, Mom. It's gotta be real quick. Yeah. Anyway, if anyone heard that, I apologize. I'm excited to press stop on a on a TV. Oh, you know, it's a piece of crap. Older computer behind me. But anyway, getting back on subject of blind date with the racist crap. Let's be honest, everybody's racist to a certain degree. We have to stop putting racism as just skin color. If you hate someone because of their sexual preference, racist. If you hate someone because of the religious point of view, racist. If you hate somebody because of some simple stupid reason that is beyond their control, or they don't want to change because there's nothing wrong with it. If you hate people because they're mentally challenged or retarded, that's racist. If you hate someone because they're too tall, that's a racism. That's a prejudice against somebody, you know, height, weight, anything of that nature. And we have to understand that personal preferences, people will try to stretch things out. Like, you know what, I would date her if she was skinnier. I would date him if he wasn't so damn short. I would date that chick if she wasn't Asian. Hmm, how do we determine racism from everything else? How do we determine this crap? I have to say one thing and one thing alone. This is why, and I'm going to say this on YouTube, and I don't care who knows, I continue to date my hand, honestly. Because I, I, I can't imagine dating any of you fuckwads with your annoying, this is racist, now it's not, now it is, now it's not, now it is, now it's not, now it is, this, this is bigotry, this is sexist, this is this, and we're going to come up with new words because now apparently you can't say fag or gay because people are just going to make fun of people no matter what. You're going to have to accept that, society. I mean, if a guy's black, you're going to have to accept the fact that people might hate you because you're black. If a guy's gay, you're going to have to accept the fact that people are going to hate you if you're gay. If you're white, if you're Muslim, if you're Irish, if you're Italian, I mean, there's thousands of differences between every single person. I might not know. I'm sorry, I almost forgot bald people. Or people with really long hair. Apparently guys aren't supposed to have long hair. Uh, in the 80s, it was acceptable for men to have two earrings, uh, one in each ear. Now, it depends on what ear it's on. Down to minute little crap like that. So, I mean, we've gone pretty far from, I mean, back in the 40s when gay was called odd. And it was completely unacceptable. So now we're, we're trying to progress. We're moving on as a society to where who gives a crap. Because let's face it. The more we use the one word that I consider to be the most racist word in all of history is called minority. Because as far as I'm concerned, you don't have to have a certain look to be minority. Intelligent, competent, competent tolerant people are the new freaking minority, okay? It doesn't matter what skin color you are, what religious preference you have, if you want to bet guys or animals or even toy trucks. Oh, look, I, can take them. I don't give a crap. The real minority is educated tolerant people and in closing black guys who wear the short caution educated black man I just look at you and say where because all I see is an idiot with that shirt on 
seriously, people, we got to progress on. Because as soon as we stop seeing each other as the same and keep splitting these differences between us, that's all we're going to have is racism, bigotry, and fucking stupidity. Honestly, I consider myself a part of minority. I'm one of the few friggin' educated people on the damn planet. And I'm pretty friggin' stupid, so that's saying something. So step it up, people, and end this crap. All right. That's all. And if I've forgotten um, any stereotypes, well, not stereotypes, if I've forgotten any people that people don't like for some reason, oh, geeks. Also, remember them. People apparently don't like geeks and jocks and all that crap. Because I think it starts young. We, we all flock to our own categories, which we don't need to because we're all people. Deal with it. Any comments, questions, concerns, or anything else, write them all down. Ball up that piece of paper and shove it up your ass. Have a good day.